since Microsoft's acquisition of Nokia's smartphone division. It's shied away from debuting flagship handsets in favor of more affordable devices. That trend continues today with the launch of the Nokia 215, a $29 Series 30 Plus phone that Microsoft says is its most affordable smartphone to date. Unlike other handsets in the company's low-end range, the Nokia 215 can run apps like Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, Bing Search, Mission Weather and Opera Mini, giving first-time smartphone owners the chance to browse and share while on the move. However, with support for 2 grams networks only, the Nokia 215 is primarily focused on emerging markets. It features a 2.4-inch GVGA 320x240 pixel display, 0.3 megapixel camera, built-in torch, MP3 and FM radio support and can be paired with a Bluetooth handset or speaker. As always, Microsoft wants people to spend less time waiting for their phone to charge, so it's ensured that the Nokia 215 offers 29 days on standby. The entry-level smartphone will begin its rollout later this quarter, starting first in the Middle East, Africa, Asia and Europe. Unfortunately, the 215 isn't a truly global device, because it only works on the 900 and 1800 MHz bands, frequencies found predominantly in parts of Asia and Africa, as well as the Middle East and Europe. The phone may also get signal in select countries in Latin America, but not North America. It will work in the UK and Australia, but it's unlikely to be widely available there, as it doesn't even have 3G, let alone 4G LTE. Folks in the regions, where it does go on sale could use the 215, as a starter device they can give to kids or elderly people, out-of-town visitors, or simply keep as a spare if they don't want it as their primary device. There's definitely room in the market for the most basic of handsets.